So let us solve one more problem on definite integrals. Evaluate integral 0 to 1 log of 1 plus x by 1 plus x square dx. So this problem can be done simply by substituting x is equal to tan theta or x is equal to tan t. So let us substitute x is equal to tan theta and let us solve this problem. So now first let us say i equals to integral 0 to 1 log of 1 plus x upon 1 plus x square dx. So, this has to be evaluated. So, let us make a plan here. What is the plan means? Let us substitute x for tan theta. So, now let us say x is equal to tan theta. Now, if you differentiate both sides with respect to theta now. So, dx by d theta is equal to differentiation of tan theta with respect to theta is secant square theta. So, we can have the value of dx equals to secant square theta and d theta. Whenever we do the substitution, we have to change lower limit, upper limit in accordance with the substitution. So, now let us find out the lower limit and upper limit. Here, lower limit is 0, upper limit is 1. So, that means lower limit here x is equal to 0, x is equal to 0 means tan theta become 0. So, it is nothing but a trigonometric equation, theta is equal to 0 means we get now here theta is equal to 0 degrees, this is the lower limit, the lower limit is changed as 0 degrees. Now, upper limit x is equal to 1. Now, one more trigonometric equation will appear tan theta is equal to 1. Here, principal value we have to take into consideration. So, that means tan 45 is 1 theta for 45. So, that means theta is equal to pi by 4 in radians we can write. So, now this problem now can be written like this i equals to integral 0 to pi by 4. So, now log of 1 plus tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta multiplied by dx. dx is replaced by this secant square theta d theta. So, secant square theta and d theta. It is very interesting the 1 plus tan square theta is the one of the trigonometric identities. You might be familiar with this one. So, 1 plus tan square theta is nothing but secant square theta. So, let it be replaced by the secant square theta. So, now we get integral 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus tan theta upon secant square theta into secant square theta d theta. Now, what will happen? The secant square theta and secant square theta will be gets cancelled. Now, we have here this is equal to 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus tan theta d theta. You might be recollected this one, already this problem we have done. So, let us solve once again. So, that means we have one problem in this chapter, evaluate integral 0 to pi by 4 1 plus tan theta d theta. So, let us solve it. So, this can be solved using this formula integral 0 to a f of x dx can be written as integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. 
so this is very interesting formula we have with the help of this formula here a means pi by 4 so here a minus x a minus x means here theta is replaced by pi by 4 minus theta so that means again i equals to we can write 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus tan of pi by 4 minus theta and d theta. Here from compound angle chapter trigonometry we have one of the formulae here tan of 45 degrees minus theta that is 1 minus tan theta by 1 plus tan theta. So, that means it is being replaced by 1 minus tan theta by 1 plus tan theta. So, this equals to integral 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus 1 minus tan theta upon 1 plus tan theta d theta. So, let it be simplified so that we get the answer. So, now this can be written integral 0 to pi by 4 log of here 1 plus tan theta is the LCM 1 plus tan theta 1 plus tan theta into 1 is 1 plus tan theta plus 1 minus tan theta and d theta plus tan theta minus tan theta will be gets cancelled. So, we have 1 plus 1 is 2. So, this equals to integral 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus 1 is 2 upon 1 plus tan theta d theta. Okay. Do you expect what will be the next step? Yes, you are absolutely correct. So, this is log m by n formula. So, let us write logarithmic formula something base A say this equal to log m to the base A minus log n to the base A. We can write like this as a difference of two logarithms we can write it. So, this equal is to integral 0 to pi by 4 log 2 minus log of 1 plus tan theta and d theta. So, now this we can split as difference of the two integrals. This equal to log 2 integral 0 to pi by 4 log 2 is constant common and d theta we have to write and minus integral 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus tan theta d theta. Here we need not get any confusion. Once again the same integral appears here that is 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus tan theta d theta this one. So, this is nothing but i. So, that means we have i equals to log 2 integral of d theta is theta, but limits are to be applied 0 to pi by 4 minus in the place of this we can replace i. So, now transpose minus i to the left hand side so that it becomes positive. So, we can write i plus i equals to log 2 here having been applied the limits here respective limits. So, upper limit pi by 4 minus lower limit is 0. So, this is 2 i 
so which can be written this is pi by 4 min into log 2 so i equals to pi by 8 log 2 so therefore integral 0 to 1 log of 1 plus x by 1 plus x square dx is equal to pi by 8 log 2 this is the answer so one more thing so my dear viewers you can remember one thing regarding to the competitive entrance examinations so you can remember this one as a result so because in the competitive entrance examination we don't have the enough time to solve the problems so that means 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus tan theta d theta is same as integral 0 to 1 log of 1 plus x by 1 plus x square dx whose value is equal to pi by 8 log 2. I think you can remember this one as the result.